All right. Hey, we will, uh, like I said, we will be diving into three sauces that are from Harvest 912, uh, two of which are Harvest 912's direct products, and the other one is a collaboration product with Carolina Shoe Company. So uh, up first, we are going to go, we're going to start with uh, Death by Chocolate Primo Tally. And uh, this is not their... Um, this is not their challenge sauce, so this is going to be their, uh, you know, traditional sauce in this format. So definitely excited for this because the challenge version is phenomenal. So I can only imagine this is also going to be phenomenal in the uh, realm of heat and flavor. So let's dive on in there. I will say this is not perforated. doesn't really matter to me because I like to use my knife, so... Let's go ahead and jump on in, give it a good shake. All right, beautiful color on this sauce. Definitely excited to jump on in there. Let me move the mic a little. All right. Get that pour going. Wow, phenomenal aroma. I would say, man, you're, you're picking up a lot more of, uh, man, is that a, I'm, 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 I got to look ahead of time. This is, this is going to drive me crazy if I don't. Yep. It, I am picking up sesame oil. Okay. So, uh, I try not to read the ingredients ahead of time, but that sesame oil is, is very prevalent and, uh, I'm, I'm loving it. So let's dive on in. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let me, uh, let me talk about how to break this down. In case you're new here, uh, and this is your first time checking out the show, I break things down into five different categories. These categories are heat, aroma, flavor, versatility, and burn. We take those categories, add up the total, and divide it by five to get the total swear word rating. And from there, that, you know, that, it, that constitutes how we grade these sauces. Uh, I don't do the traditional one to ten. So uh, let me go ahead and dive on in on the heat. Man, heat on this sauce, right off the bat, you're getting a nice uh, nice heat going. If you're new to you know eating spicy, if you're, if you're a new chili head to the game, probably not going to be one for you to just jump right into. This is definitely going to bring the heat. If you're a chili head, you're going to say this is probably a medium heat sauce. Um, so let me go ahead and jot some stuff down on that. Aroma. Like I, like I mentioned, the overall aroma of that, that sesame, the carrot you're getting, it, it's, got, it's got this great, uh, very fresh, uh, it, it, it's, just, it's, it's magical. It's dancing on my nose, bud, uh, on, my, uh, on my nose, uh, nostrils, and it is, it is letting me know it's there. Taste buds wise, man, I'm digging this. It's got a, a nice texture to the sauce. So the sauce itself is like a very a light viscosity going on there, but it des definitely has some uh, nice texture from the overall ingredients that are coming into the sauce. So uh, let me go ahead and jot down flavor as well. Okay. And then aroma. And then burn. And then... Let me go with uh, versatility. So versatility on the sauce. Uh, man, I could see myself using this on just about anything. Um, honestly, I could see myself even using this on some ice cream as well, and it would likely pair very well. Um, so overall versatility, phenomenal job there. And then burn. Let's talk burn. So overall on this sauce, uh, I'm getting, you know, more to the back of the mouth, maybe the back of the tongue area, not quite the back of the throat, but almost like just gravitating around in that region. So overall burn, uh, I would say is going to be, you know, if you're new, the heat alone is probably going to keep you, you know, deferred uh, from trying this sauce right off the bat. I could see yourself maybe mixing it in with, say, something else. Um, let's say if you had a, uh, a dipping sauce or a salad dressing that you wanted to just put a little bit of this in and stir it up before you go, uh, you know, put on a salad dressing or using a, uh, dipping condiment that would go phenomenal in there. Um, 
if you're if you're not um i mean it would go great either way but if you're new to the game that would probably be a great way for you to ease into this sauce so overall burn let me jot that down okay i'm gonna hand that one on off and we're gonna we are going to read off some ingredients while producer jeff gets that input we're gonna do this all right so ingredients first off we have water vinegar tomato carrot garlic onion lime juice sesame oil salt and then we have uncle bull cows chocolate primatale peppers and this sauce has no preservatives artificial coloring or flavoring and uh, of course <clears throat> When you purchase these sauces from Harvest 912, all proceeds go to, or you buy these from uh, Mad Cow, you'll be getting all proceeds going to Harvest 912, and uh, you're supporting a great cause, and you're, you're definitely making a positive impact in the overall community. So um, definitely highly recommend picking up these. We will have the links for everything in the description down below. And uh, on the other side here, I'll go ahead and read that as well. Uh, it says... Where flavor and heat meet, a hot sauce addition to chili, soups, stews, pizzas, a pizza, wings, and much more. Great on seafood, too. And then, uh, you know, can always be used on annoying guests and unfaithful partners. Yeah, it, you know, it definitely packs that nice punch that I could e easily see that happening. Um, but, at, hey, they, they couldn't have said it any better I can see this thing pairing very well with a magnitude of uh, different dishes and items. So definitely check that out. The heat level, seriously, this stuff is hot. Scoring heat coming in at 3.95. We have aroma at four. We have flavor at 4.2. We have versatility at 4.1. And burn at 3.8 for a total swear word rating of... 4.01. So phenomenal sauce there. Definitely go check that one out.